How do I make a visual schedule for my classroom? Making a visual schedule can be for a range of tasks. It can be for an entire day where you want to plan the students' activities, or it can be for a set activity. Depending on what the expectation is, this is how we would develop a visual schedule. Let's take, for instance, a small one-to-one -one session where you and the child will engage in activities. We recommend using something like a small visual schedule where each task or each activity is represented by using a picture. The child knows that each picture is going to represent a different activity and on completion of this activity I can remove it from my visual schedule and I can put it into a finished box. It's really important that you get the child to be actively involved in this process. Here I've underlined each task individually and I have a visual to represent each task. It's very important that we break these tasks down. It'll help the child transition from one task to another, but it also gives them a very good expectation of um, what we'd like to see from the child. I always like to put something rewarding at the end so that child is working towards something. If I wanted to have a visual schedule for an entire day, I would again break the day into activities that the child is going to complete. Here we have a much larger laminated strip where each activity is broken down into individual pictures. For instance, first the child will engage in play, then they'll have one-on-one -on -one time, then they'll have group time, snack, and so forth. The child knows that throughout the entire day there's going to be a set of activities and right at the end of the day they can get their bag and they can go home. You can imagine how much anxiety this must reduce for a child to know their expectations, but at the end I get to go home.